Hey all this earth and welcome back to our journey of Salah ad-Din of the Arabs. We are sitting on pretty much our first real big government upgrade after the initial oligarchy set. We're sitting in feudal monarchy. We could go to uh, the merchant republic, which is not a bad idea. Mainly because it helps us get the boost to wrong place, to the civics, where are we? Here we go. Helps us get a boost to medieval affairs. Now the reason that's important, because you want to get to the enlightenment as soon as possible in this particular uh, mod with Rule with Faith, because this is your next set of really um, important governments, and these are actually really, really good. Uh, I tend to favor absolute monarchy or noble republic depending, but that really kind of depends whether I need more economics or need more flexibility or I want a religious or a diplomatic slot, so it really varies. I tend to keep at least one of the military policies in the constitutional monarchy. No, it's not really great for me unless I build the Alhambra at some point, but so we don't have a encampment placed yet, so it's not exactly a major priority. Now, this stuff is we're looking at uh, trying to get our madrasas up, so we just have that technology, and we also want to get the remainders of our campuses so I can really run our science up the wall. Now, again, remember, Germany does not have a big military compared to us. In fact, they're pretty weak, uh, 115 versus our 373. So we basically more than double them in military strength, if not triple them. So probably not a bad idea to start planning forward. And again, we have Mamluks, so that wouldn't probably be too far off into the future. But again, I'm going to keep trying to push uh, the science up, because the infrastructure is going to help us late game. And honestly, I'm not really sure how we're going to take this one yet. We do have our religion established, which is nice. We are building our first temple here, and it's going to coincide with us getting civil service. We can kind of swap out uh, that policy for when we're ready, maybe for the Merchant Republic when we're damn well ready for that. So, next in line, uh, we're probably not going to be able to do harbors at any point. We're kind of running out of boost here. Are we going to get a great science at some point? I know we were shy on the last one, yeah. So we can get Mendeleev, maybe. Ten points on that person. My god, ten scientist points. Like, holy shit. It's probably the Congo, and again, they're alone. They're going to be like the atomic era. Everyone's still like in the Renaissance. That happens to me nearly every game. It's mainly an issue of the Congolese tech. Uh, they have a lot of boosts that kind of beelines them to chemistry really, really fast, which is, in my opinion, not very well balanced, but, eh, all right. Well, okay, so if we need a critical tech that we can open up, we're probably not going to be building aqueducts anywhere. Also, probably not boosting that, but education is less important because we already have our madrasa. So, unless we want to burn scientific theory, which is not a bad idea, we could also try for mass production. Which isn't a bad idea. For that, we need education regardless. This gives us pikes. Um, we don't really have any spears, so that's not a major concern. We do have a angry mom look already. Rocking on here. So that's not really a great idea. Without any boost, it's kind of hard to pick a direction. We can try to hit toward gunpowder, I suppose. We'll probably be building aqueduct, and getting military engineering is not a bad thing anyway. We can't really take advantage of the Huey Toakali either. This is coast, not lake. So we can't really build that anywhere in our empire. It's just kind of the way it goes, you know? I think we do need a wave of workers, however. And that's going to have to come through at some point soon. What is going on? Yes, we'll need to put down the hammers as well. We need to get the industrial zones down. Oh, hi, German settler. Fancy meeting you here in a place like this. Uh, this makes me want to just dow them for the free settler. Germany's not going to do too much against this. What is our... Yeah, that's the minor issue, though, right there. I don't want to get too much negativeness. And if he does settle a city here, it's not going to bother me altogether too much. I pretty much have most of the territory I want anyway. That'll make that pass a little harder to fight through, I suppose, but beyond that, it's okay. We have pretty decent relations with the Germans right now. I'd rather not mess with that too much. I'm doing well ready to mess with them, basically, and that's going to depend on what our tech looks like. And what housing requirements do we have? Baghdad needs housing. Well, you need a lot of things, buddy, but we're going to get the science stuff up, then we're going to get workers up, okay? I promise I'll improve these tiles soon, because our workers are going to have two extra builds thanks to our government right now. Uh, right there. So once we build them, it'll be good. But we're <laughs> kind of trying to time a lot of things at once. Don't really have a lot of extra clock cycles right now. Medina's probably going to build one after the monument, honestly, because this needs to get improved. And this worker's going to be all five here. It's one, two, three, four, five. It's going to be upgraded. And even then, we still haven't done everything. So it's kind of scary how that works. And we hear barbarian sounds, which implies what? Either we're under attack or something spawned in lands that we see. There's nothing in the south. Nothing. Ah, right there. Of course, the one place that we don't have vision on, it spawns. No problem. Mamluk, attack! Alright, let's get moving. Gotta deal with this before long, or it's gonna get messy. It's just a pike. Alright, so this is medieval barbarians already. I mean, obviously, we're kind of the medieval era. 
tend to get high tech early. All right, that's a really long path of uh, coastal water. We'll see if we can get around the Germans. Any? I don't know where he's going. He's probably going to go down here, which we were thinking of maybe getting another city. I mean, should I really doubt him? I don't really want to get too pissy on these people. I tend not, to, uh, I mean, in the fun games, I tend to play aggressive, but here again, we're so tight in amenities. This is not going to be a new amenity, honestly. I'm, I'm not really feeling the need to be there right now. Now, that being said, that is a source of iron for us, but iron is less critical, so we have Mamluks and swordsmen are kind of so passe, so not even that critical for us there. So, eh, I'm probably just going to let him settle there. I really don't care. What's up? Uh, you. Did we just upgrade you? I must have, because that's why only reason you would have woken up for no apparent reason. And you're running out of tiles to work, which is why we're building the damn monument. What else do you have here? Unbuilt. That's fine. So I think, yeah, kicking out a worker here would likely be wise. And maybe even dropping a district here, maybe a harbor or two, or just a commercial hub. We already have that dropped. We probably want to work on that after the worker. It's going to take a, yeah, it's going to take a little while, huh? Yeah. All right, well, those cities will eventually develop, just slowly but surely. So we'll set this up okay here, and that should be relatively easy just to keep picking these guys off. It'd be funny if they just deployed trying to find me. Yeah, where? Wait, if you're gonna try to get inside my territory to settle, buddy, we're gonna have to have words, okay, buddy? If you can't go through here, I'm actually a little concerned now about this damn settler. I don't want him to drop a dumbass city here. That's the last thing I need on my conscience. Uh, is this a hill enough to shoot over? No. Okay, well, we're gonna have to kind of do this. He's probably gonna come out of his his shell in a second. Will you take the scout to take advantage of that? Mamluk, attack! I know, it's like Mamluk versus a pike. It's like the worst decision ever, but... If he starts settling over here or something, then we're going to have words, and I might have to kill him. Now, I would like to get the four trade routes at this point, but I can't really boost anything else. And I can't get guilds yet to boost markets. Like, we're kind of pouring through the civics without any boost. We're not going to get rid of artists. I'll go up to humanism this way. This is required for the Enlightenment anyway. I can't really do much with that. So we're kind of hitting unboosted territory right now, which is kind of sad. So we'll kind of buy the Pagoda. For some faith there. Extra housing, which solves Cairo's housing issue. Now, we do need commercial help. We do need industrial zone. I don't know. You could argue that I could get the commercial hub down and get the extra trade route. This is only seven turns. And then we can actually maintain four trade routes and get the boost in medieval affairs, which means that markets would probably be the first thing to go. We're definitely getting in alliance with anybody. Maybe that's the way to push it. Just get the commercial hub up here. How long's in the industrial zone? Seven turns. It's all right. We're not near factories yet. If we start getting a little too far, then we'll obviously deal with it. Uh, how long for a builder? Six turns. I might do that before the madrasa. But, uh, again, I do want that scientist. And without enough points, I'm going to have trouble getting him. Ten, we're at 6.2 only, even with the freaking library. But there is a bunch of stuff to improve here yet, I think. Yeah, and that would help me with production considerably. So you know what? I am going to take the opportunity to kick out a builder. I do have the policy in place anyway. You, yeah. Commercial hub. Let's do the builder. A 14 turn. God, your production sucks the big one. I mean, but that's understandable. I mean, the build it's going to have to be a builder right now. Take a turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You all want a piece of me. I know. i got to get past you before we get archers and stuff. Is there nothing really else to see out here? There's a couple lands of shallow water, but really not much there without us getting caravelled or something of that nature. Protestantism. Stop trying to convert me, you punk ass. So how are we doing religiously? I gotta see that overview for a second. So we got one Protestant with six Sikhs. Might have to deal with that guy at some point. Well, now that we have a temple, we can actually buy some apostles and beat the hell out of this guy. These are not cheap, though. What's up, dude? You want to go all theological on me? All right. Uh, harbor here. Harbor. Good God. Am I talking to my ass? Uh, granary here wouldn't be bad. To get a little bit of extra work on that. And then it'll be an insane amount of food. I'll probably do this just step by step. Just do the quick ones and then do the production. But the production will be best, though, eh? Yeah, it probably would be. Let's do that while we can. Hi. You need to die. Thank you. So nothing I can actually fire from. Is this a hill, maybe? Or are we just really unlucky? We're going to have to do this the hard way. That's hills. Nice. And that's not hills. That is hills. Damn it. That's... Okay, I might be able to shoot over this. Maybe. Should be able to. But sometimes the... Like, the angles are weird. I'm not sure if it's the sight lines in the game or if I'm just not understanding the mechanics. But things get weird. Yeah, okay, buddy. 
<laughs> You're not a commando, right, right, right. Where are you trying to go, man? I don't know. The Germans are so crazy sometimes. All right, let's keep going this way. Hey, more land. Cool. I mean, I could seriously think about settling up here, but again, the issue is, as always, I need them Luxes, man, and I have that one already. So, lacking in voluminous amenities as I am, because we're, we're, we're ahead. I mean, I could see myself dropping another city up here, potentially. Maybe like two or three, honestly, to fill in the space, but uh, I don't know. I kind of feel like infrastructure is a little more important right now. And maybe knocking Germany down a couple of pegs at some point. All right, you can try to get around. I just want to make sure he doesn't get around to my inner lands here. Because if he does that, then it's then it's mine. It's game over, buddy. It's game over, man. It's game over. What? Apostles ready for promotion. Oh, you immediately get a promotion, don't you? I might have to combat that guy a little bit. Translator. We're going to spread triple in cities of other civs. Indulgence vendor gain 100 gold. He's going to convert city to origin for the first time. Uh, I think triple strength might not be bad. Let's do that. And now we have to beat the hell out of that guy a bit. Ah, yes, you did come out and say hi. This may hurt a little bit because he's a pike designed to mess up my uh, mom look a bit. But he's not going to be much left of him after that. Can we get on to this quickly? Unlikely. Let's wait a turn. Uh, go ahead and do that. Mass production. Good. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get two markets in time, but the four trade routes we can probably do if we switch the governments once we get the guild civic. We'll quickly pop out four traders, and we'll be good. What's up? Not much up here except a little island, an islet perhaps even. What is going on with the German settlers? Oh, wow, look at this crap. They're just... Mmm, dangerous. I'm no longer a majority of my own founding city. That's dangerous. That's not great. Can you convert easily here? Evangelize belief. How many? So you have three spreads. Launch Inquisition. Okay, and we can also... Wait a minute. Spread religion, yeah. So this would be adding another belief to our religion. I kind of want this to spread, actually. So let's do spread. Yeah, kind of need that to be Sikh majority, and then I'll go fight that guy a little bit. It's a little irritating, though. The military, I mean, the uh, religious combat feels somewhat cheeky at times. I'm using the scout just because of embarrassment factor. There we go, good. Oh, look, good job. Let's get up there. Now we can tell him to stop spreading his religion. What? We can't? He tried to convert one of my cities, man. And I have religion of my own. I should be able to talk to him. Should be a disgust. Don't fucking do that anymore. But apparently that's not happening. I don't even know where he's at. I keep coming from the north, but I don't see where the hell he is compared to this. Like, they keep coming from this general direction. Which is a little weird to me. I am sending these guys out a little further. I just want to see what's around the world. They're more useful as explorers anyway. Let's keep going. Ooh, Mecha got another pop, which we need to watch for... You don't have those pop-ups anymore for the pops. It's not a joke. That's actually what it is. You don't have those pop-ups anymore. So that's kind of annoying. You have to really kind of remember or hope that you kind of saw it visually. How many sieves got popped out where? Oh, yeah, we got a lot of improvements yet to do. And it's hurting me a bit. Hey, 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 hey. Hombre. You need to, to not be doing that right now, bro. Another barbarian? Seriously? What the hell, man? Where is the barbarian camp now? Uh, down here, maybe? No, not in the frozen wild yonder. Mm, there, okay. Hi, German settler. What are you thinking, bro? I might be setting up here, which I'm totally okay with. Just have him get killed that way. Works for me, man. All right, we're not gonna get two harbors, probably. We got missile engineering, I mean, not gonna build an armory in time, so let's go ahead and boost gunpowder. See, we have niter, niter's kind of critical. If we have niter, shit gets a lot easier. Uh, let's go here. I do need my signs to keep bursting up, so I'm gonna keep doing that while I've still got it. So this, this camp should be taken care of by Amsterdam pretty well. No worries. You're all done, basically. And where are you gonna go? here. I don't think we have the ability to evangelize belief anymore. Must have still have two spread charges. Okay, so you can do one spread and one evangelize, which is interesting. So 
So we can try to beat that guy up and then evangelize a belief after that. Assuming we don't die horribly. Could be interesting. The missionaries can't attack, they can only defend in religious combat, as far as I understand. I haven't done much with religious combat, honestly, it hasn't been a big part of my game, because it's actually quite hard on higher difficulties to get religions. It's quite difficult. So he's he's trying to get through here, I think, so I'm just kind of making him waste his time in a big way. He's trying to get around. I think he's actually trying to get here, which is really weird. I'm not sure why he wants to do that. I'm going to try to get past Germany somehow, now to have shipbuilding. It's all cliffs, unfortunately. We can try to maybe squeeze out. I mean, I could see myself... No, but I can't really, because there's not a lot of space here. These are unique luxes, at least. The Jade is. But it's not a lot of good land, and that's another consideration we got to think about. You hang out there. Maybe you should hang out in Mecca, in case there's something coming from the ocean. Cairo's pretty much okay, I think. Alright. Hey, man. You need to evangelize somewhere else when there's a holy site, right? You kind of do, don't you? I don't like you. And spread of what? What is that? Zoroastrianism. From whom? You didn't found that. She must be somebody else, so we don't know. Okay. Well, if they're kind of running off and not screwing with my main place here. I have two spread charges. This is my holy site, right? So I can't evangelize belief. So I can't do any of these? I have to be able to. Maybe I need all my movement. Okay. I'll wait a turn. Stay there, buddy. Okay, uh, get the cows, cause that's gonna give us production. Wow, that galley's really aggressive. Yeah! Alright, cool man. I like enthusiasm, can't fault him with his enthusiasm, that's for sure. Let's keep going. Qua. Terracotta army, Archbishop Harald Hardrada. Where are you going, man? If, seriously, man, if you try to settle a city right in between mine, we are going to have very, very angry and terse words. Like, very, very angry and terse words. You have in here. You've got pikes, so that's fun. Alright, a lot of this can be got to buy coastal land, so that's fine. Or coastal water, rather. Shallow. 8.2, 10 there. So we're kind of still catching up a bit. We don't have a lot of cash and a lot of faith. Our finances are a little weak right now because we're kicking out madrasas and libraries and things of that ilk. No, no, come back, come back. I want you to come this way. I don't want you to start finding new and interesting ways to piss me off. Alright, you can finally upgrade some production, because we need it badly. So, I should be able to do this. I have two spreads. I'm in my holy site. Yet, I cannot do it. That seems... suspect. This must be adjacent to a city center. I have two spread charges, so this is obviously broken in some way. Alright, in that case, I'm gonna go just fight some dudes. Why not? Or just spread to other cities of mine. I don't know. This seems really, really weird. Seems busted. Even with full movement, I can't do it. Me think something's wrong there. That's why I don't like the religious game. Things just don't work right in many cases. Yeah, he could be trying to get in here. To get, like, the cattle, I guess? I don't know. Mom looks gonna keep an eye on this guy. Hey, Mom, look get over here. Just keep an eye on that little punk ass. And if he decides to try and start settling, I'm gonna gonna crush him. All right, market. No, now we can get the trade routes we need. Can we get two markets up in time? No, we definitely can't do it. That's a waste of my energy even thinking about it. So let's get a trader up, and we'll get two more traders up. And as a matter of urgency. We can't build anymore until we switch governments, right? Yeah. Okay. And that'll be in four turns. Eh, I'll live with that. Okay. We have down here. We had the builder done. We can go ahead and go on the commercial hub, I think, because we'll need that for production and money. It's one of the main sources of getting extra bonus hammers, I suppose, now that uh, the changes have happened. So let's go here. That's production. That'll be more production. That's not improved yet. That'll be more money, which we kind of desperately need as well. So we have a couple builds here that we can definitely make good use of. Alright, what else we got? Hmm. <laughs> it could help this spread Sikhism. We're definitely getting spreads there. We're getting spreads there. Let's... If I can't evangelize a belief, obviously, I'll just spread religion this way. And we can go maybe to Aleppo and evangelize this before we start having problems. 
Dum dum da dum dum da da dum dum. Let's see, not much. So I can't really see anything of Germany except that I know now they have pikes, which makes it a little more interesting navally. Ah we. Augusta e Roma imperator Caesar Traianus sum. Qui ses? Qua e terra patria vocas. Ah terra patria nostra. All right, honor to meet you. Hospitality of Rome, mighty Rome. Rome is here, and they founded Zoroastrianism. Okay, so Rome is trying to be a religious power. How big and scary are you? Holy shit! Okay, pretty big and scary. Uh, he's rather strong this game. Uh, let's take a look at military strength. Haha! <laughs> See, there we go. Pontifex Trajanus. All right, Pontifex Maximus Trajan. All right, we are the Sultan, and we got the Archbishop, oddly enough, and who are you? You're the Prince Bishop. Well, so we're pretty decent on military strength. We're kind of more or less on par. The weaker of the two stronger sides that we found. That's all right. We'll live with it. I just really need this scientist to kick out. I really would like the boost to uh, scientific theory. That'd be nice. Now it's Evil Deeds of Poland. Oh, he's a Poland's in this game, so we get to see Jadwiga. And... I listened to the voice acting there, which I will inevitably criticize, uh, because I already did in my own mind. Actually, I've heard it before, and it's kind of, it's funny. I'll, I'll explain once we get there. Hi, little dude, what are you thinking? If you come anywhere near me, I'm going to kick you in the dick, like, violently. Um, production, or let's just get this to maybe trade to Trajan. Do we have anything extra to trade Trajan? There's a thought. Do we have any extras? We do not. We can... Probably go silk for chocolate and we'll get a- Oh, really? 9 GPT, bro! Bro! Why are you so pissed? 11, okay, that's not great. That was fast. I mean, he, he rarely spends time being friendly anyway, so I didn't even bother setting him a delegation at this point. I am very bad at remembering to do that too, though, in all fairness. So, yeah, that could be an issue. But Rome is over there. I could see them dropping a bunch of annoying settlements here. What the hell are you doing, dude? A legit settler. What are you trying? Because you do not get to settle here in my land. Are you going to talk about this? No, we don't get to talk about this. Are you going to talk about anything? I can't talk to anybody about anything. Which is I'm going to have to start murdering people. And that's going to be depressing. Because if he drops a city like right in the middle of me here, that's not cool. He can't get past me, though, and he can't settle right there. That's three tiles in a Tanarivo. As long as I keep this locked down, he can't get through here. He actually is trying to settle right here. It's mind-blowing why he does that, because... Oh, wait, he's the AI, and he's a dick. I remember. Now I remember how Civ works. All right. Um, all right, so this is all done pretty much except for the crying. Now we've got one more wheat farm here. This is going to be an insane amount of food. This is, yeah, nice food tiles there. Oh, we have another thing that we could use for production. Good. Two turns till we switch governments and try to boost that up. What you doing? How you doing, baby? I mean, I'm kind of using this apostle, unfortunately, right now. I might not actually burn the last Sikhism charge on him. Kind of save him for religious combat, because uh, I don't feel like that's a good use of his time. I might just keep him in here for now. Just hang out, man. Just hang out. I think that's going to have to be it. I don't want to burn him. I'd probably just burn an apostle instead. I mean, a missionary. You want extra chocolate. That works. Um, I kind of want to see if Trajan... Well, he won't give me one for one already, so that's not going to be worth much. I'll take uh, GBT off you. Yeah? How much do you value your open borders? One GBT in a bit, I think, probably. Yeah, let's put like 19 maybe. Nope. 24, not quite. 22, 21, 20. 19 it is. Sold to the man with the red beard. All right, there you go. Trajan won't give me something good. I'm surprised though. He's less angry. Germany's trading with Arabia. You learned that we're trading with him. Yes, no kidding. Good job. I'm helping, he says. All right. Huh, madrasa, madrasa. I know, we're like, we keep saying, I need money, and I keep not making money things, but hey. Can't fault a guy for trying, eh? Now, I could get a theater square up in 15. All right, let's get a workshop up in 19. That theater square will go faster, yeah? You go to sleep for now. And we'll be able to use you to fight later. 
Uh, fight with words and belief. All right, get up this way. Stay there. Okay, pretty good. We'll switch the government out, and we'll get the traders up in two more places. I think we can safely justify building those fast. Maybe even down here, because you've got a bit of a production upgrade. We'll see. The Barbarian Outpost. I have no idea where Norway is. Yeah, he's really thinking about this. What I'm thinking may happen is that once I really decide to Dow him, I'll be able to take that free settler and just drop a city down here when I'm ready. Knowledge of banking. Good. The bank service, we won't get in alliance with anyone, so I'm comfortable just going into that civic as need be. So now we're going to switch governments. Uh, this may hurt our economy a bit, because we're not going to have conscription right off. But we should be able to get a wildcard conscription, can't we? We can fit it in somehow. Yep, try the Merchant Republic. Alright, cool. Now, uh, we need to go... Charismatic leader is nice. Diplomatic envoy. Uh, I don't think that's... I mean, we might be meeting some people, I suppose. That's fair. I don't want to lose my scientist points, so this might hurt our economy a bit. Yeah, I kind of like that. But I can live with this. And that'll be four trade routes. We can get that up and get the other boost. Then we'll switch back, probably. Commercial hub district adjacency bonuses. Probably not bad. Because I do need money. But all gold from trade routes might be the most useful thing, honestly. Yeah, let's do it like that. Confirm that. Might be able to get some cash out of it. We're at eight. I've seen worse. Where are some good routes? Rome with 11. GPT with potential for more. Sir, yes please. Roma, amicus, es gratus. All right, seriously. Give me some of that trading on with trade -gian. Oh, you blocked that off, huh? You clever bastard. All right, Trajan. It's cool. I understand. This ain't no never never land. All right, who's got decent production besides Cairo? Cairo's got 25. Medina's got seven. Hatin has 13, and that's about it. So 17 is Baghdad. That's the next best, really. Baghdad. Okay. Can we trade run five? I can live with that. I'm putting off that madrasa constantly, which is obviously helping my attempt to get Dmitri Mendeleev here. But 9.2. Oh, it's oh he's down to eight. He must have had two from that point, that policy. So we might be able to beat him to Mendeleev. That's not bad. Unless he buys it out. And the AI does do that a lot. Okay. So production. I just want to make sure the tiles we're working are the ones I'm going to improve. So those two we can easily improve. We can justify that. Great. So go here. Make the lumber mill. Don't make the mine. Make it mine. Qua. Another one. A great lighthouse. Yeah. Harry's actually been a pretty massive wonder. War Rome just declared war in Japan. Okay, so we'll probably meet Japan somewhere around here. Hojo, Tokibu de. Uh, let's see. No, that's just frozen north. It might have to go through land here. It'd be pretty difficult to meet other people. Haven't met too many others as of yet. Yeah, I'm uh, this city, if it doesn't get better production, I don't know when the hell I'm going to drop another district down on it. We'll use that better anyway. How are you at the housing limit? So honestly, probably better just to rock up on production right now. And that would help me out. Yeah, let's get the let's get all that science stuff up so we're not shy on scientists anymore. And then we'll think about war. <sighs> and we'll see if we have NIDER, and that's gonna be the big question. If I need to settle a city for NIDER, I'll probably what do I need to take down Aachen? 42 strength. My guess is, I mean, we can still do this with catapults, but the approach is going to be a little hard, mainly because the mountains are going to block us in a big way. Uh, knights will be pretty solid here, though. The mom looks especially, given that they can heal every turn in enemy territory. And I think there's another city right here. This is going to be actually a pretty tough approach. Now that I think about it, it may be tough to war with Germany. Maybe I should just steal their settler and call it a day. I don't know how I'm going to even try to get this. It would probably be... Even with three range artillery, I'd still only have three places to put it, and this would be very vulnerable. Hmm, I don't like the approach to Aachen at all. I may need to landfall from the north, but I'm guaranteeing you there's a city there. We could do that way, though. We can deploy land out here, and the city will be able to hit us, unfortunately. We could land maybe here somewhere. I really wish I had vision. We can send our apostle. Oh, of course we can send our apostle. Spread the good word, chum. And we can find out where his cities are. Totally not doing intelligence gathering for the military. Just totally. Just spreading the good word of, what the hell are we? Sikhism, yeah, that one. <laughs> Sounds legit. Yeah, but Germany would be a very, very easy target, I think, which I do want to go after. Then I'll have my nearest neighbor kind of handled. I should be able to land after that. Should we make this relatively trivial? Go up there. 
Ah, uh, keep going. Whee! There's just so much stuff I want to build. This is absolutely dead zone. So where the fuck is Norway? I, they must be over the ocean in that direction. So I'm blocked off on moving this way because of the ice pack. So I should just get home at this point. Can I go south? No, that's probably, this is ice packed as well. So my ocean going vessels are not going to be able to help me out too much here. Which is somewhat depressing until we get actual ocean going vessels. We currently have galleys, so, yeah. Problems abound. Are you thinking of dowing me, you ornery bastard? I think you are. Are you going to surprise war me? Oh, that'd be the best thing ever when you leave your dumbass settler over here. That'd be so good. It'd be so nice. So nice. Amsterdam, no one's got a suzerainty there. I should be getting envoys soon, shouldn't I? Should envoyer le bon chose. All right. Uh, metal casting for bombards? Yeah. I guess, because... Oh, right, Niter. Let's see if this is going to go as well as my last game went. When I was shy on Niter. Yep. I'm going to be shy on Niter. Fudge. There is no Niter here. And that is awful. Not even up here. Oh, that's really unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. Because without Niter... I mean, I could knock over Zanzibar, I guess, but they're the one people I have suzerainty with, so that would be awfully stupid. Oh, fuck me. There is no source of niter around here. And no other way of getting it. Does anyone else have niter to trade? I don't think he has niter to trade, no. Got a lot of horses, though. Okay, so that's actually a massive problem, because without niter, you don't get muskets. Oh, shit, right here. One, two, three. <gasps> yes! Best settlement location ever. There is a niter. Oh. Praise the sun or whatever the hell we're doing these days. Um, okay. That's important. And we'll only be able to build it out of places with encampments, which is the minor issue. So we need to get our encampments up. And Hatin is going to be one of them. We need to get an encampment up in a city that has decent production, like Baghdad. So guess what district you're plopping down next? Uh... Yeah, you're gonna plop that down at some point. Maybe to control this space a little bit, because I'm not gonna be using too many of these tiles. I don't think I have any adjacencies I'm depending on here. All right, we could also just drop one to control the river here and just call it a day. I just need an encampment somewhere. And this would control this space pretty well. You know what, screw it, let's drop an encampment right here. I don't see why that wouldn't work. And that gives us adjacencies to that, or potentially a harbor later. What the hell? I just need that encampment up, because that's good. We do have one source of niter. I was about to start spitting kittens, as you heard. And now the kittens shall not be spat. But I do need to get the land claim thing going. Because this is going to be way too expensive with the kind of income we have right now. We're going to send you some Muscat, Zanzibar. All these routes are probably fine, honestly. We can send to Zanzibar, though. I mean, 10 GBT is 10 GBT. I'm not going to sniff at that. It's going to help us out considerably. All right, so that's really, really good news. Uh, we need to get our encampments up. Stat, though. 15 turns. I just started building a damn co commercial zone. Well, in that case, maybe we should build catapults now and then upgrade them later. So you only need one nighter to upgrade. You built the trader. Maybe you should just go catapults. Get like three or four of those suckers. Yeah. Gotta put off the market some more. But that might be the only way we're gonna actually get this... Get ourselves on a war footing at some time soon. But that's... Oh, God. At least one source of niter. Yay. Yay, 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 yay. So I'm gonna put off metal casting for a bit. Are we gonna earn that great scientist or not? Yeah, I think we got that one on lock right now. 10.3. Yep, so in 12 turns we have a great scientist, which is good. Chemistry is great because chemistry gives us um, the next research thing, research labs. It's nice to have that boosted. Uh, we'll put that off for now. We can get banking. We can get military tactics. I mean, he does have pikes. That's a little irritating. Our mom looks are kind of what I'm depending on to kick some ass. But that's all right. I think... We can do banking. Have our minds get us some money. Oh, it's going to be through education. All right, fuck it. We'll get military tactics then. If we need a pike, we'll get that up. 
No, not a city there. Really? That seems surprising. Alright, anyway. Do that. So we'll have the fourth route up soon. 13 turns of diplomatic service. And that's okay, though. We'll swap to more militaristic government at that point. Alright, so these guys officially are SOL. We don't have anything to do with these guys, except watch the oceans here. So we'll probably sit right outside of Aleppo. On the uh, shallows there. Or in the shallows there, rather. How are we doing on science relative to everyone else? I kind of want to see this. 54 science per turn, so we're over that. He obviously has a lead on Tex. Prince Frederick has... Okay, so we're ahead of him on raw numbers, but not on raw science per turn. And especially not raw science per turn there. So Harry's been doing his homework. Legit, son. But he's kind of... I'm seeing... He might be going after the barbarians here. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens next time. The political situation is slowly uh, developing to an interesting way. Can we kick out a catapult here now that we don't need to worry about that, actually? Catapult. 13 fucking turns. Are you serious? Wow. Alright, Baghdad, you're building one next, and who's next after Baghdad? I wish I could queue these up, too. That'd be nice. Mecca, I guess. I guess. And Baghdad, and then Cairo, and then Mecca. Alright, well. Finish the Madras on 11. Oh, why does everything take so long to build? Holy shit. Nine turns. Alright, well. Enough belly aching. I'll see you on the other side of this one. I've been Urs. Till next time, the Arab Journey Through Time. Till then.